Hello, and this is Professor Lindsay Kemp in part three of Graduate Programmes Taste Today. Welcome back. It will be worth the work you put in at graduate studies with the American University of Russell Kalama for many reasons. Your personal growth and development and success being a great part of that. It's worth choosing to study at an accredited university, and we already have double accreditation through the Commission for Academic Accreditation in the United Arab Emirates, as well as through the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, simply known as SACSOC. In the School of Business, we are aiming for a triple crown in applying for accreditation through the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, or AACSB. These accreditations broadcast to you the quality of our programmes, so you will attain a credential from a renowned and high quality business school. We enrich our courses by, for instance, bringing in teaching material that relates such as faculty written case studies or published articles that are locally reflective of what is happening in the region. Here you can see a photograph of the video that features our president at our university as interviewed as a leader in the United Arab Emirates by Professor Joe Wallace. As well, we bring in people like yourselves who are living and working within the region, for example, as guest speakers to enrich the practice of our graduate students. The idea being they learn from those in the workforce and talk about what is happening in their own employment, adding enriched learning to the executive MBA or MBA course. I do emphasise the applied, i.e. the practical nature of the courses that we run within the School of Business graduate programmes. Because we really appreciate that busy students who are employed want to learn more and apply that learning immediately. An overview and introduction to some of our credentialed faculty. These are people who have lived and worked within the region for some years. You will be seeing, for example, Dr. Balira, who is the department chair of finance. Dr. Hari, who recently has introduced professional certification for finance courses in the School of Business. Dr. Vizier Jan, who is our Associate Dean and Professor of Marketing, Professor Larry. Other distinguished faculty members that we have within our business school is Dr. Atif and Dr. Muktad. Dr. Tassin, you have already met, and Dr. Osama. To summarise the degree requirements for the graduate programmes, and obviously you can go online, the details are on our website. You'll study over two years, 36 credits, whether you're doing an MBA or an EMBA. In the MBA programme, you can do a concentration in human resource management or one in finance, for which you will take nine credits. Alternatively, you may want to study on an EMBA where there's block teaching and it's intensive, usually taking place over weekends. Please look at the entry requirements. Again, in summary, 
an English language proficiency is required and also a baccalaureate degree. Some background to the introduction of our online executive MBA, the programme of the future. Obviously, COVID-19 pandemic did bring rather a shift to online teaching throughout the world from spring 2020. And COVID restrictions are being reduced. Hopefully they will be eliminated. But higher education and students have had a taste now of online educational programmes. And so we look at the online programme as offering, yes, convenience, the prospect perhaps of increased diversity of students enrolled in these pro programmes. In particular, in our School of Business, we would be looking forward to attracting a representation of business leaders in the, pro in the programme. And that increased diversity would will contribute to an enriched learning experience in the programme and collaboration amongst the students, i.e. yourselves. So we're looking forward to an online format. Our faculty will be involved in the design and online enhancement of the courses. We're ensuring that our faculty will have developed the knowledge and skills important to effective engagement with you, our students. So there's a lot of professional development in order to teach those skills. So we'll have mini lectures that are in the class meeting environment, videos of interviews of busy business leaders, engaging video content, collaborative student engagement activities that are running. We've already met with a few current EMBA students regarding their online experience during the past year. They spoke highly already of those online experiences during the emergency and we received recommendations for that for enhancements to continue to offer an online programme. I'll finish here and then take you to having a look round one of our online courses that is currently in development.